What's up guys, Nolan here, and I'm not going to get into the arguments about hatchlings anymore. If you need to run a hatchet, then you do you. But the majority of you will actually have more fun when you bring gear with you, and that's why I'm passionate about it. I'm going to try to teach you guys how to want to stop yourselves. If you actually want to start bringing gear in order to get better at Escape from Tarkov, then start by opening up Tarkov and pick a map that you want to learn. As always, I suggest that you run it a couple times offline, then watch my 5 minute guide on it so that you know the extracts and the basic layout out of the map if you've never played it before. First, run it with your scav. When you run it with your scav, your goal is to kill a player. No matter what's happening, find and kill a player. Don't just loot. Once you do kill a player, try to get out. Whether you survive or die, either way, once you're out of the raid, start a timer on your phone or PC or whatever for when your scav will be back. Then go to an offline raid and run to the location that you killed that player or you died yourself. Whichever one happened last, that last raid. Go through the entire scenario through your head from both perspectives, from where you were and from where the enemy was. Look at what they could have done differently and then look at what you might have been able to do differently. Even if you won, still look at what you could have been able to do differently. The same thing goes for if you died there too. Once your scav is back up, run it again and your only goal is to find and kill a player. Once you do that, get out and do the same thing again with the timer and the offline raid. When you get killed, it means the opponent had an advantage over you. You need to figure out what that advantage was and learn from it. Don't always just assume they had better gear and there's nothing you could have done about it. That doesn't get you anywhere. Even if they clearly did have better gear, still use their positioning as the advantage because chances are that player has been playing for a while and they would be in the position that they were in whether they had the good gear or not. You need to try and learn what you can from that. Keep doing this until you get bored of waiting for your scav to the point that you will want to load up your PMC, but play it like you played your scav. Your only goal should be to kill a player, except now replace the offline raid with the scav raid so you start to move back and forth between the scav and the PMC. If you die too quick with a PMC that your scav isn't back, then set the timer and then go back to the offline investigation of your last death. Wash, rinse, repeat, and before you know it, you'll know every hot PVP zone on that map like the back of your hand. This is the technique that I use to learn new maps when they launch, but I think those of you struggling to get ahead should try this out, and I think that this may work really well for dropping the hatchet runs and maybe just getting better at Tarkov in general as you'll have a side-by-side -side comparison between the scav having a gun and your PMC not having one. Then with the time in between those, you're learning the map freely and from other players. I don't think you can actually go wrong with this setup. And you'll understand the usefulness of a weapon that does not require you to be within two feet of the enemy to use it. If you truly want to get better at Escape from Tarkov, then you'll find yourself getting annoyed to the point of dropping the hatchet for an actually useful weapon system. The scab always having a weapon will make you wish your PMC had one too. I get it guys, I used to be a knifling when I started. I used to just run to the safe on woods for hours. Then I got annoyed at the scabs killing me, so I brought gear. I had more fun with gear than with the knife, so I never looked back. Those of you currently struggling to drop the hatchet have it worse because you've never seen the game after a wipe. Everybody will be equal. It really is in your best interest to stop your need to run hatchet only before the wipe so that you can make the best use of your time while everybody is running around with the lowest level gear. That is why I'm so eager to teach the new players and get them to start using gear because there literally is no better time than right after a wipe to drop gear fear and the need for hatchet runs but you need to be prepared to do that and time is running out the wipe is coming so please let me know how you do if you want to learn anything about escape from tarkov or its development then you can check out my playlist for it here if you like this video then you know the drill i really appreciate the people who do otherwise i hope you at least learned something and i also hope you have a nice day see you guys <laughs>